Shiny hunting. It's a thrilling challenge that many trainers, including myself, love to undertake. But I've almost exclusively hunted in the newer games, which have better odds and usually some mechanic to make it even easier. So, I had an idea. Why not use some kind of automation to reduce the grind? And that's when ChatGPT entered the picture. Before diving into this project, I just wanted to take a moment to express my deep respect for the shiny hunting community. This project is not meant to diminish the hobby in any way. Shiny hunting is a cherished part of the Pokemon experience, and this automation was just a fun experiment to see if it could work. I provided ChatGPT with a simple prompt asking how I could achieve such a goal. It then spit out a bunch of instructions outlining the steps I would need to take, along with a basic script to get started. <laughs> Man, technology really is incredible. It took some back and forth to refine the script, and I had to ask it some follow-up questions. Keep in mind, I've never done something like this before, and I'm a complete novice when it comes to scripting. But first things first, installing the necessary tools. I used Python for scripting and imported a few extra libraries as instructed by ChatGPT. Remember, my goal is to create a script that would automatically encounter Pokemon, but could recognize shiny routes and stop the automation when detected. So, the OpenCV library allowed me to incorporate some image recognition into the script. This was trickier than I originally anticipated. The script basically takes screenshots and processes them to detect the blue color of shiny routes' head. First, I had to define a region of interest and then convert it to the HSV color space to accurately detect the specific shade of blue. This version of the script is a later iteration, which also detects the other shiny Pokemon on Route 102. Except CDOT, since it's incredibly rare. But initially, I set a threshold to ensure that only the shiny routes would trigger to stop. This took some fine tuning to avoid false positives, like Shiny Poochie in his eye, which also triggered the detection since it has a tiny speck of blue. Next up, automating the encounter. With the image processing in place, I moved on to automating everything. The script presses the necessary buttons to start the encounter and runs from non-shiny Pokemon. Then it repeats this process until a shiny finally shows up. But I also had to make sure the script timed the button presses correctly to navigate the game's menus when needed. Since the random encounters are, well, random, it's impossible to predict when an encounter will begin. I use the image recognition to detect the start of the battle by looking for May's back sprite. Initially, I used pure image recognition, but that proved unreliable. I then adapted the part of the script that detects shiny Pokemon colors to look for the red of May's shirt. Then the script knows to press the A button to begin the encounter and run away if the Pokemon isn't shiny. Additionally, I put in a few delays to make sure the buttons wouldn't be pressed too soon, since timing is very important to make sure scenes run smoothly. Using a similar function, I also added an extra check, which presses the A button rapidly to get through any pesky phone calls that may pop up. Nobody cares, Diana. Leave me alone. Now, this is where the real magic happens. During this process, the script looks at the region of the screen where Pokemon appear, processes that image, and if it sees the shiny routes, it stops the automation. The script knows the routes are shiny by detecting the blue of its head. Here's the image the script produces in that moment, and that's when it knows to terminate the script, so it stays in the encounter and will be waiting for me to eventually catch it. It took multiple tests to fine-tune the sensitivity and ensure it works seamlessly without fail. I adjusted the thresholds and timing to avoid false detections to ensure accurate recognition. Originally, it worked maybe 80% of the time, but after adding in some extra checks, switching everything to color recognition, and adjusting the timing at a few spots, I've gotten it to work flawlessly. And then, the big moment. Once I was confident that the script would work unattended, I left it running overnight. And after 951 encounters, this happened. The script worked exactly as it should. When I checked on in the morning, I was super excited to see shiny routes on the screen. It was found in way fewer encounters than I was expecting, especially with the Generation 3 shiny odds of 1 in 8192. But I was able to catch it successfully. I named her Sky, and she's beautiful. I'm currently working on a ribbon quest with some of the Pokemon in this game, so Sky is the perfect candidate to come along for the ride. I hope to eventually transfer her all the way up to Scarlet and Violet with tons of ribbons collected along the way. Overall, it was an awesome experience. Manually encountering Pokemon one after the other can be thrilling, since the shiny could pop up at any moment. But using ChatGPT to help automate the process was a really fun challenge, and I'm just thrilled that it worked. I currently have the latest version of the script running, and now it should detect most shinies which can spawn on Route 102. At the time I'm writing the script, it's at almost an additional 5,000 encounters, and still nothing. Which just goes to show you how lucky I got finding that shiny route as quickly as I did. One interesting challenge I faced was ensuring the script accurately detected shinies without falsely triggering. The image recognition needed precise tuning. I experimented with different thresholds and regions of interest to make sure the detection was spot on. The process involved a lot of trial and error, but it was incredibly satisfying to see it finally work as intended. Additionally, I learned a lot about Python scripting in general. This project was a great way to dive into programming and see practical results from the code I wrote. 
It's amazing to think about how powerful these tools are and how they can be used in creative ways. And here's a little teaser for you all. In a future video, I might delve into how I adapted this script for another exciting shiny hunt. It's a different kind of challenge and involves even more intricate timing and recognition tweaks, so stay tuned for that. The whole process made me appreciate the sheer amount of patience and dedication traditional shiny hunters have. While my automated method is efficient, it lacks the personal touch and excitement of manually shiny hunting. However, combining both methods could offer a balanced approach, making the grind less daunting while still enjoying the thrill of the hunt. So, there you have it. That's how I used ChatGPT to find the shiny routes. It was a fascinating project that combined technology and gaming in a really interesting way. To close things out, I'm going to play the full version of a Pokemon song I created using Thuno AI, which is a service I'm really impressed with. The lyrics were written mostly by me, with a little help from ChatGPT to come up with some of the rhymes. I'm really happy with how it turned out. But if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more. Thanks for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, and happy shiny hunting! In lands unknown, we embark on a quest. Pokemon by our side, we give it our best. Adventure awaits, a symphony of thrills. With each step we take, our spirit fills. Oh yeah! Together we'll roam through valleys and peaks. A Pokemon adventure makes. Adventure will shine, Pokemon by our side, a bond divine.